All right, just gonna run you through the basic process of pasteurizing my SS Brutec. Um, starts at the kettle here that's got about 20 liters of 95 degree liquor in it. It runs into the pump, out that little elbow, all the way through here into the top of the SS Brutec. It's got the micro CIP ball. Um, it basically just CIPs the whole thing with the 95 degree liquor and then returns out the bottom port back into the pot, which I then use for mashing in. Um, goal is 85 degrees, but always like to hit 90. I've already just run it for a second and we're at just the best part of 70. Um, just to rinse all the sanitizer out, because I just do a little two-step process. That's been ditched. Now I'll flick it on here. I'll just give it another run. Back that up a little bit. You can hear it going. The violet, the steam. There it is returning back out. Temperature's fine in there. Don't want to lose prime on this pump. Give it a little help. Hopefully we get our 85. Don't mind the clogs. All right. Now we've got 82 at the moment. That should climb a little bit. You can see all the return liquor in here that's good for mashing. Just waiting for this temp to climb. Yeah, should get there. Fermenters at 85. Sometimes you get as hot as 92 or even a little higher and that's, that's definitely better, but 85 is all good for uh, process of fermentation. I wouldn't suggest doing this unless you understand vacuums and pressure because right now this thing's gonna basically start sucking back in as it cools and if I don't put um, CO2 on it at a really low pressure of about one to two, it's gonna wanna vacuum and it doesn't actually have a vacuum breaker on it. So unfortunately you'd end up with a bit of a crumpled tin. But otherwise, if you do it properly, it's a yeah, really good way to kind of guarantee yourself some sanitation. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed.